Welcome back, friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming. We're playing Football Manager 2019, and we're back with some European football with KF... Sorry, with KFC. With FC Kaiserslautern. Today, we have Lechia Gdansk. We are going to play both legs of the... Um, the what do we call it? The second knockout round. We're going to play first and second leg. I'm going to play Dusseldorf, um, but we're not going to watch that one on film. So that's the plan. Uh, right now, we are untouchable, I believe. 94%. We are untouchable. And uh, locker room atmosphere is particularly good. Club finances are good, too. So we can take a look. Um, 40 million in the bank, 10 million left in our transfer budget. Payroll, we're about 200,000, a little more than 200,000 underneath it right now, which is pretty good. If we take a look at dynamics, you can see locker room atmosphere is excellent. Team cohesion is very good, and actual leadership is very good as well. Let's see if people are actually supporting me. Um, no, Jello. Jello's down there. She wants to go outside, and she waited just a minute too long because we're playing football now. Down there, the little claws. Um, this is about as good as it's got for us. 13 players supporting us, including all the team leaders. It's funny that I've been here as long as I have. Uh, this is like our eighth season, and yet I still have you know, nine players that don't don't support me or have no opinion of me anyway. Um, especially considering how well we played. It's really weird how little support we've got from the players throughout this playthrough. All right. Um, Kaiserslautern versus Lechia Gdansk. And uh, we come into it with reasonable form. Uh, we did play one match without you against Augsburg. It was a two-all draw. You can see Stremski and Zoboth getting their goals. We got one, they got two, we got one to even it. Um, not particularly exciting. Let's go ahead and submit the team. I did build a second tactic just for giggles. Um, just a narrow one without wingers. I've got a lot of players that would like to play here, and yet I don't play there. And in fact, we play a deep line playmaker um, and a central midfielder. So our central midfielders aren't really playing up in this area at all. They're staying back a bit, but it is what it is. Stremski and Aldi on the back. We're going to play Kali and Fetihu. I did did swap Kali over. I think I had Kali there before and Zoboth there. So we're putting in, we're putting Fetihu in instead of Zoboth. Um, Kali's had trouble scoring, but let's see if we, we got, he got one last time, right? Last time we played or we watched. Um, so anyway, we've got to get him some stuff. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. We'll see how this goes. We're going to have a short leash for either of these, and we'll put in Zoboth if we need. Um, I did swap Mate uh, Matazo and Char around because of footedness. And I don't. I, I had Matazo, who's right footed here, and Char, who's left footed here, with their foot, their primary foot in the middle. I'm going to see if putting in their primary foot, the outside is going to be better. I like to have my striker's primary foot in the center for goal scoring. You know, as they come around to score, but we'll see. We'll see what I think about the, the midfielders. Um, yeah, we have faith. Get some green out there. See if that helps with anything. Uh, bad weather. Don't think it matters. Um, anybody would miss him, but never heard of him, so I assume they're going to be okay. Turn my volume down a little bit more. And we'll get this thing underway. We'll see how it goes. Oh, we got an edge in position early on. With five shots pretty early. Ah, oh, good save by the keeper. Dives out to grab that header. Um, which I assume was more just being knocked down and hope somebody would put a foot on it. Rather than a scoring chance. But we're going again. Fedehue out to Yastrzemski. Pauses, gets it out to Becker. Becker feeds it across. There's Adley. Uh oh, there we go. Liz wasn't good enough to get that one. Adley puts it away. We're up 1-0, eight minutes in. Tenth goal of the season with the assist from Andreas Becker. Not quite slow-mo, but Yastrzemski sees it. Holds it up for a second. Two guys stay with him too long. Becker's able to get it away. Adley heads it in. And that's it. Bish, bash, bosh. We're up 1-0. See if we can put away Lekia Gdansk. Nine shots to nothing so far. Again, another header into the box. Oh, Coley sneaks through with that one. It looked like he'd fallen down. 
But uh, I don't know. Betty Hugh. Yastrzemski heads it down. It bounces off somebody. Coley dives through, but it just kind of bounces off of him and in. We'll take it. We'll take it. I think he was he was hopeful and got lucky rather than pure skill there. But you know what? Being in the right place and knowing. Fedehue, oh my god, puts a rocket in. Unable to get it in. Yastrzemski keeps the pressure up. Fedehue takes a touch. Another touch feeds it across the middle. And it rolls in. Off of Jan Bowler. Looked like it just got a little deflection. What was supposed to just be a, a, a rolling pass across the, the middle for somebody to run onto ends up going in the net. Oh, Jello. Betty Hugh in. Uh, I get, sure, I didn't see it going past him because I had a I had a kitty cat. Up down, baby. Not right now. Jump it in my lap at the time. 16 shots to nothing. 60. 57% possession. They had the ball a little bit. Um, yeah, they've had the ball for 3% of the time on our side. Fetty Hugh and Ian. This stops it. Coley holds it. Gets beat up there like 12 guys. I don't know how 12 people would surround him, but we'll say nine. <laughs> um, how about a little praise? Probably didn't need it. We did have a couple guys complacent, though. We did seem to get rid of that complacency. Chara and Fedehue, maybe. I wasn't paying that much. They did get a shot. They got a shot. Was not on goal. We've had seven on target, plus a woodwork. It hasn't said we've had a single clear-cut chance yet, and yet we've got three goals so far on no clear-cut chance, on no chances at all. Um, I think we'll take that. I think we'll take that. Um, appreciate their efforts. Um, how are our strikers doing... Collie's playing great. Fetty Hughes complacent and not playing great. So I said short leash. That's enough. We're going to go ahead and put Zoboth in. I have moved Collie over to complete forward. And we're going to put Zoboth or Fetty Hugh, whoever's over here, as an attacking forward. Um, Zoboth can also play complete forward. Uh, but we'll give him a little bit extra chance. He's he uh, 13 finishing. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't think I need to really make any other changes. I'd kind of like to get Ambos in at some point. We'll wait a little bit longer, maybe 70 minutes. You know, we've kind of used one of our subs here at half, so we won't do the 65-minute sub, but we'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll try to get him into this match. I'd like to get Depew in as well, um, but I don't know. Matazo, Chara. Oh! Puts a shot on it from deep. Liz manages to scramble to put that one over the top. Chara's going to take the corner. Adley's got it. Feeds it back in the middle. DeWinter is coming. Back out to Adley. Feeds it across the middle. Nobody there. Good good positioning by the defense. Thielman has it. Tried to make the tackle. Looks like he got a foot on it, but it just slowed it up. Thielman was able to keep running around with it. Feeds it across the middle. Nobody's there. Ryman just plucks it out of the air as it goes past. And we are back on the, on the run again. That was, I guess, a shot. Lipsky out to Bednarzik. Chara heads that one away. Oh, big shot from uh, Marchvinsky from deep. Puts that away. And as usual, we've talked about this in the past. Lapse of concentration lets an easy goal through. It comes way outside. Just puts a boot on it. Ryman's not paying any attention. He lets in easy goals in games that should be blowouts. You know, we... He, we're lucky we got three goals, but there'll be games where we'll have the same kind of match stats, but we'll only get one goal out of that. I mean, you can see we've yet to have a chance. And uh, and he let in a, he let in a, a shot he should have stopped. Uh, make the sub. Let's get Adley out. That could be bad. Well, I said I wanted to get the pew in. That wasn't quite how I meant it. See if he bounces back. Yeah. He bounced back quite a bit. Hopefully that means we'll be okay. Uh, maybe we'll go 75 and put our last sub in. Get Ambos in. Close enough. Um, would have been Chara. Chara's tired. We'll go there. We do have three matches. Three matches fairly close together here. We went nine days without a match, so now we'll play three in like... Five days, you know, why not? Five or six days. 
Oh, Thielman gets left alone again. Ryman's on that one, though. Four shots for them. Clear-cut chance. We have had a half chance at some point now. Becker heads that one out. Oh, come on. That should have been a penalty. Maybe it was. Who knows? Highlight ended. Man, they are really putting the pressure on us here. Becker heads that one out, too. Lacey's there. Marchinski, Vulcan. Good name. Dominguez in. Oh, so Sopako? Sopoko? The header on. Couple more minutes. Oh, this could be a goal. Maybe not. I mean, there are two legs to this. We do have to go to their house. The next one would be nice. Jastrzemski. Oh, puts a header in. Looked like the goalkeeper got a hand on it, but not enough to keep it out. And it just dribbles in the far corner. 4-1. 12th goal of the season for Yastrzemski. Assist by Depew. Feeds it all the way back across. Yep, header on it. Gets a hand on it. Knocks it down, but unable to change it off its uh, the direction. And there we go. Verifying that we are, in fact, on side. And we are. One more shot. Nice. Nice to take that 4-1 into the away leg. Um, assuming that's how it's going to go. Uh, Bialik. Modizo. Ambos feeds it up to the pew. I'm assuming this is just the final little bit here. Holy kind of gets mugged there. You guys come scissor scissoring in on either side and get him. Marchinsk Marchvinsky feeds that one out. And that should be it. Blow the whistle, ref. It's, they're done. Have mercy. There we go. Job done. First leg in the bank. 4-1. Uh, appreciate their efforts. Doing okay in Europe. Doing okay in Europe. Uh, two to three weeks. Oh, that hurts. Yastrzemski. Uh, there we go. All right, let's take a look at our squad then. Um, well... Tactics. Let's see. Who do we want to put in instead of Adley? I guess we're just going to keep running to Pew over there. For now. Um, we'll take Adley out. Uh, by the way, our, our new young player, uh, Pierre Vasquez, is out for a while. Um, is he going to tell me? Two to three weeks. Um, so let's go ahead. Oops. Um, Ambos has no finishing. Let's get Dessinger a match or two. He doesn't like it out there. He's right, right footed. He's very fast. Let's go stick him out there. Give him a, give him some games out there. And I guess we'll put Izzik in. Um, Prince, we're getting some starts with the youngsters. Adley's injured. Vasquez is injured. Sergio's fine. Something like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play the next game, and then we'll be back for the last match. Second match against uh, Lekia Gdansk. We lost a key man. Adley to miss. Talked about that. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, welcome back. We have played a match, and we did okay. Our second 4-1 win in a row. Um, yeah, I mean, 16 shots to 8. We did get clear-cut chances this time, 2 and 1 half chance versus 2 half chances. Uh, our shooting was pretty good, 9 of 16 on target and 2 more against the woodwork. So we were definitely in the area with our shots. Uh, reasonable passing, possession, slight edge. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh I thought the biggest uh, standout was George Depew, who had, I thought, three assists. They gave him credit for two. I don't, I'm not sure what happened with the third one or what was going on, but um, he did pretty good. We brought in um, uh, Zoboth uh, off the bench, and he scored the two last goals. So uh, it was okay. Uh, at least I think that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, 70 and 90, 90 second minute there. Um, and Chara got one in the 78. So, you know, I mean, it wasn't the most exciting early game. 
you know, we had one goal and at the 40th, they didn't, and then the next goal wasn't towards the 70th. But, you know, that last 20 minutes put in a little bit of excitement there. Um, so, yeah, we did pretty good. Uh, since then, however, in fact, yesterday, the day before our match, we had a couple of injuries, and they are going to affect what we're going to do a little bit. Uh, I ran Dalkey in this last one and um, uh, Matsunen, and then ran, actually, Sergio. We gave him his, his uh, Bundesliga debut in that last match as well. Um, and you can see, um, I think we actually ran Ambos in the center here with Dessinger um, and Depew on the left of him. Uh, I've gone back a little bit. We're going to put Matazo back in as our deep line playmaker. I'm going to run Dessinger as a Mazala rather than as a central midfielder. And we're going to do that because he has an acceleration of 17, um, agility of 16. It'd be nice to get him to run up there. He's got good first touch, good decisions, and a little bit of finishing at 12. So we're going to try to bust him up. So we've turned him to a Mazala on attack instead of a central midfielder on, on su support. And we've knocked a Pew down to support. He's more of a supporting character anyway. Uh, I considered kind of swapping these two around and running them, just leave them as a wing rather than inside. But I just don't want to tactically mess with it too much. Um, you know, part of the theme of this season is is this Invincibles tactic. And uh, so we're going to stay pretty solid to that. Um, I do want to give Prince a game, so I'm going to start him. I was going to, well, I still am going to run Ryman on the bench because I, I, I don't know. Prince is actually pretty decent and actually does have better concentration than Ryman. Ryman is a 13 for concentration, 15 for Prince. So maybe we don't have those stupid goals, and he's got slightly better aerial reach. Um, he's pretty good. He doesn't have the physicals that Ryman does. Um, and all the technicals are good for Ryman. And pretty much all the mentals are pretty decent, too. Um, but we're going to give him a match. We're going to see what happens. We are going to run him on the bench, though. Uh, Becker is also injured, which is, of course, who normally plays here. They have said he can't play, but it means I have lost my sub because of the Dalkey injury. So we're going to put Isaac in here. Um, now, we can run, if we have to, we can run Vogel on the right. Um, and we might do that. We've got Paredes in there, so if we have to, we can slide Vogel over here, run drop Paredes in into that spot. Now, I considered playing Paredes in there, but remember, all season, our def central defenders are playing pretty eh. And since I've gone to kind of this, you can see in the last five matches, 7-3-6 and 7-2-0, um, so we're going to run with that as opposed to kind of this six seven six eight that everybody's been running at for a little while. So I think we're going to do something like this. We're going to go ahead and put the winter back in. Um, so more or less the starters on the back, but Becker does have a slight injury. It was a one to three day injury. It happened yesterday. They said he's good. He's good to go, but we'll we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and then this slightly modified center Zoboth and Fetihu up there. Um, Zoboth, after having got two goals in that position uh, in the last match, definitely deserves another match. So um, I guess that's it. Oh, and I signed a new contract. I went from 28,000 euros a week to 53,000 euros a week. Yay me. Um, so we'll take that. Uh, uh, virus. They've got one injury. Felipe Cruz is any good? Yes. Very fast, great determination, very good crossing and first touch. Technique's pretty good, got some vision. Yeah, I'm kind of glad he's out. I may as well scout him. Um, all right, let's uh let's play a match. Hopefully nothing horrible happens because I just realized I forgot to save before this match. At least if it happens, it'll happen live on video. I'll have I'll have proof. Um, hand over to assistant. I think everybody's pretty happy with that. I don't really see a need to do much more. Oh, look at that. Good looking. They got a dome. Well, I guess playing in Poland. Well, I mean, we play in Germany. It's not like our weather's any better. Um, but still, I can see there, there's enough winter uh, in these countries that a dome probably makes sense. Oh, 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 by Alec with a big tackle out there on the... See, he's already playing on the right out. Uh, actually, Vogel's the one that likes to play right wing. But while it gets out there, feeds one up to the Pew. Pew holds it up a little bit. Back to Matazo. Matazo gets it forward to Fedehu. Fedehu gets it to Yastrzemski, who was kind of going the wrong direction at that point. Dessinger out to Becker. 
That can go, oh my god, he just threads through like 10 guys, and Depew, who we just said isn't an attacking player, fires home a beautiful goal, showing why maybe he should be on attack instead of support. But then again, support put him where he was. You know, instead of crashing in, he sat out there, made himself available for this pass that just threads through four or five guys. It looked like Domingos might have got a touch on it. But not enough, and Depew slots that one home. And we're up 1-0, 5-1 on aggregate early on. Two shots, both on target. No chances yet. <clears throat> and, uh, of course, it's decided to reset everything because we lost. Eh, that's fine. I don't know, maybe, uh... Oh, never mind. I was going to say get creative, but if we get another goal here, um, I'm going to be fine with it. Depew, out to the winner. The winner's coming. Depew, out to the winner. Can he find a partner in the middle? Oh, no. Tries again, though. Oh, and Fetty Hughes there. Second time is a charm there. De Winner's first attempt gets pushed back out, but right back to his feet, and he just puts it right back in. At first, you don't succeed. That was deflected, actually. He was trying to go in the middle there. Oh, beautiful. There we go. A little bit lucky there. The initial shot inside by Depew ends up bouncing out right to De Winter, and on his second attempt, we get the goal. Five shots, three on target, two half chances, 57% possession. And we are up 6-1 on aggregate. Absolutely destroying Lekia Gdansk. Stremski got another yellow. Got some guys who are complacent. Concentrate. That overwhelms him. It's probably the wrong time for that. I'm not quite sure what we do for complacency. Tighten up maybe, and they're fired up, of course. They've, they've seen our player reaction, and they've done a better job. Depew with the corner, feeds it across. List jumps out, manages to pluck that one out of the air pretty easily. Uh, but the highlight's not ending yet. Bielek gets beat by Thielman. Gets a goal. Twelfth goal of the season, assist to the goalkeeper. Yeah, Bielek just stops. Misses it and then stops. Nice try by Vogel to get back over there and get the block. Slides in there, but just not enough. And 2-1 uh, on the day, 6-2 on aggregate. Becker shows how it's done by going there, getting a header. Unfortunately, unluckily, it went right back to their player. Vulcan feeds it out across. Roka, Puchatsk, Thielman. Ah, oh, there we go. Prince comes out, pushes that one wide. I'm not blaming Prince on it. Not a bad. Don't have a problem with the goal. We've gone to halftime with a 2-1 lead and 6-2 on aggregate. Uh, appreciate their efforts. Yeah, okay. Not sure there's anybody we really need to worry about. They've had two clear-cut chances this time. Um, so we've given up one goal on two clear-cut and scored two on no clear-cut. So I guess that's okay. It's kind of a breakdown of the tactic I, I mean shows the players are out playing the tactic at the moment you know we're 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 not i'm not putting them in the right place to get a chance but we're still getting goals let's try a i don't up nope that just frustrates him all right let's make a sub get somebody else in there um he's got a yellow Run Dessinger out to the right. And we'll put in Ambos. Dessinger's right footed, so that doesn't really put him in a great scoring position, but he's comfortable on the right. I don't know, maybe get creative. Let's see if we can actually get a talk right today. Nope. They just refuse to not be... Well, we got a little bit there. I 
Anybody else who want to get a match in? Get Cherry a little bit more playtime. Yeah. No, actually. No. I'll put Isaac in. Dessinger. Ambos. Look at that. I put Dessinger on the right and Ambos in the center, and instantly. I'm a genius. That's, I mean, clearly. That's all there is to it. I'm a genius. Got a little lucky there. But Dessinger finds his man. Ambos is wide open there. Two players standing behind him. We're going to go ahead and get his again, get him a match. Doesn't get a lot of play time. Let's hopefully he doesn't give up a goal on me here. Roca. He, he did. It bounced off his head. But oddly enough, they gave it that one to Roca. So they said that that was on target. I, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, it went right off his chest. It might have gone in over there. Without the deflection, Prince was probably where he needed to be. So he put his again and he gives up a goal. But we're still up 7-3 in aggregate. And I don't really blame Izik for that. He he blocked a shot. It just bounced off his chest the wrong direction. He needs to chisel those uh, those pecs a slightly different angle. DeWinter feeds it all the way across. Nobody runs on it, though. Getting a little bit lazy here with the lead. Not a fan of that. Roca. Up to Thielman again. Oh, there we go. Izik kicks that one aside. Good tackle by Isaac, showing why I did put him in there. I trust Isaac's in there. I don't even at this level. I don't have a problem with him being in as a central defender. Heads that one out. There you go. No problems with Isaac at all. I didn't quite get it set up. We can't see ratings or anything on there. This should be it. Isaac's right there again. And that's it. That should take us on to the next. Let's see. Um, appreciate their efforts. Uh, what did it give Isaac for a play? Gabriel Isaac. Oh, they didn't even give him, he wasn't in long enough to get a rating. Um, but like I say, happy with what he did. So final draw will be tomorrow. So let's go ahead and click through that. First leg triumph, win in second leg. We got 1.1 million. We would have got that anyway. Um, but now we'll get some more money. I think that was just for playing in the round. It didn't matter who won or lost. Um, early goal was key. I would say early goals in the other game were what were key, but um, no, he's still injured. Don't think nothing, anything has to happen there. Um, this was picked in two days. Yeah, we'll let him play that one. Oh, our next match is in two days. Um, make them unavailable. Hang on to him in case we need him for uh, Anne over there. See, who do we got going? Um, Chuck Wuma is on our. Has a slaughter in uh, two. Oh no, he's on. Why do oh. Oh, he's, he's subbed out. He's on loan to St. Pauli. I'm like, why is he coming up? Because he's on loan. Uh, Vogel and Ambos. Uh, Fetihu, Sergio. Matazone to Winter. Turi is still on Finland. On Finland, They keep saying he shouldn't be playing for the national team because we don't give him enough play time. But he doesn't get dropped. Yastrzemski, Paredes, and uh, Burak Aksu. 17-year-old Turkish player. Left defender there. Decent physicals, and they're coming up. Aggressive, makes good decisions. Strong work rate. Not too bad, tackling. He's, and, and passing are both at 10. So not, and crossing is at 7 so far. So maybe he won't be a one-dimensional uh, pullback back there. All right, let's see what we're doing here. John, oh, look who we got left. So we've got Chelsea. Don't really want to play them, to be honest. Hanover. Yeah, I'd play them. Lazio, okay. Marseille, Salzburg, Leverkusen, 
and Juventus. So I would say we don't want Chelsea, Juventus, or Leverkusen. Chelsea, Hanover. Okay. One and one. One I didn't want, one I would have taken. Lazio, Salzburg. Marseille, please be us, because I don't want either of the other two. Oh, it's Leverkusen. Uh, we're going to have Juventus. We are starting on the away leg. Um, that's okay. We'll get a little Italian football in, right? We just went to Poland. I think that will be okay. We get Juventus in the league. Um, Juventus is riches against Kaiserslautern's more modest budget. Bumper crowd. They won in 93. Um, we had to get a match rearranged. A couple matches rearranged. Let's see how much money we stand to make in Europa League for quarterfinal first leg. Who would have thought we'd be in the quarterfinal, right? I mean, and, and like I say, there's some beatable teams left here. Um, I'm not sure Juventus is one of them, but like I say, I would say about half the teams left were teams that I think we have a reasonable shot against. And we could beat anybody, depending on how much, how much focus they're putting on it. But, um, but I don't think we're... We're going to be underdogs and reasonable underdogs. I mean, like reasonably deep. Um, so we want quarterfinal. 1.5 million. So we've earned another 1.5 million. Win, lose, or draw, we got 1.5 million. Um, yeah. I think that's okay. Um... Play restrictions. Way goals do count. Don't see anything else. Don't see anything weird at all. So that's that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our schedule now and find out when those matches are. Uh, they're coming pretty fast. I've got Hanover and Freiburg, and then we jump right into Juventus. Juventus. Um, so we've kicked back this Mainz game, and we had one more, I thought. One more was removed, or was moved. I just don't remember which one it was. Maybe Freiburg was moved this way. I don't know. Anyway, we'll be back for Juventus. Um, oh, let me show you how we're doing in uh, Bundesliga. We are currently in fifth place right now with 44 points. You can see right here Leipzig, Kaiserslautern, and Ingolstadt um, on 44. Köln and Augsburg both on 42. Um, not too long ago, all five of those teams were tied on points. So, and Leverkusen's only got 47. But these Europa League spots here, um, man, there's the competition is tight for these three spots, four, five, six. And I think we've shown we belong. Um, we're good enough to continue to play well in Europa. Um, but whether we're able to squeak out one of those last spots or not, I don't know. You know, it might be worth at this point saying... Not worrying about Juventus so much and just worried about league play so we can come back to Europa next league. Because, look, the difference between 5th and 8th is fairly significant, I think, um, as far as money goes. Let's take a look at rules here. I mean, first of all, it means we get Europa next season. So we're, we potentially get another 10, 11 million next year for Europa, which is probably where we're at. Um, 9, 10. Yeah, we're probably about 11 right now, I would say, just in overall prize money. Total between Europa and Cup Pokal. Um, so fifth place gets 67 million, eighth place gets 59. So uh, yeah, it's a difference of 8 million, you know, almost as much as we made in competitions this season. Um, and again, it gets us back in there. So realistically, fifth versus eight is going to be 8 million there, plus potentially another 8 million, you know, next season, 16 million, um, you know. Could be a, a reasonable, that's maybe a low ball difference between finishing 8th and finishing 5th next season. Um, rather than trying to see if we can get an extra 1.5 million, you know. But you know what? There's Anything can happen at this point, and we're beginning to play for actual hardware, and we haven't won much of that. So guess we continue on fighting hard in Europa? We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.